please don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. Not fear me, my people, for I have traveled through death and madness to be here. Here for you. I am Telogras, god of chaos and liberator of your mortal souls. The lives you have been living are lies. Lies like those my enemies have told about me for generations. It ends now. Together, we will remove the scales to reveal the truth. That fate is what binds you to your miseries. And that chaos is simply another word for freedom. Come, join me. We will build a new destiny together.
Welcome to the crossing. Yes. Oh, look at this fresh face. Still got the glow of the east. Tell me, Freshy, you been in Mithros long? Toenails fallen off yet? <laughs> Name's Mallory. This is my family's place, the Gemstone Tavern. You need anything? You talk to me. <laughs> Are you kidding with me? <laughs> Agarth! That old drunk who wrecked my place not but two days ago! Damn outlanders. Yeah, he was here. Though I was glad to see the back of him. The warden and a few brutes dragged that sloppy fate weaver off to Madding Wind. <laughs> Serves him right. Interesting. So you're looking for dirt on the prison. What does that make you? An escape artist. Honestly, the best way to go to jail is to commit a crime. No easier way than that. Unless you're willing to pay, of course. All right then. Now you're speaking my language. Listen, Warden Blackwood. He's the law in Gale Crossing, and he does his drinking here at the Gemstone. I overhear a lot. I'd talk to him. Maybe, maybe not. You'll need to hand over some coin to find out which. That's right, hand it over. Oh, something so nice about a heavy pocket. So... I know some of the village merchants use Madding Wind as free storage, but I'm not sure who. I'd ask around. Really? <laughs> I should charge you again. Warden Blackwood is the only one with the key to the place. But I know a few others in town know how to get in. Merchants. But they're not forthcoming with that information. See you around. Keep your wits about you. Don't linger here. It's a pity. De Groot was a good man. To think he spent five years fighting the Tuatha, only to come home and die like this. A brutal crime. He deserved better. What? Help you free that wastrel Agarth? Not a chance. I have some scruples. Mama Blackwood taught her boy well. Unless you're willing to pay, of course. That's more like it. To win out here, you've got to play the game. Here you go. A key to Madding Wind. Service is rendered. Be extra careful. Greetings, Outlander.
like this. This is what all the fuss is about. After all the trouble I endured to bring you here, capturing your friend, imprisoning him in this tomb, summoning a Horinox, you still won't die. And now I must deal with you myself. Tell me, Fateless One, why shouldn't I simply pull your heart from your mouth and let you writhe around on the floor like a drowning fish? You may be special, but you are no wiser than any other mortal. Crude, rash, stupid. Even as you stand there, you smell of death, a stink of corpses. I am Telogrus. You cannot unmake me, fateless one. This is the spirit I had hoped to see, indomitable, foolish. I will fight you, and I will kill you. I will char your skin like a pig's, and you will feel every lick of the flames. But you will have my respect. First, let us see if you are worthy. If you are truly the Fateless One, prove it to me. Show me the full extent of your power. You will not lay a finger upon me, child of dust. You're a disgrace. <laughs> Is this all? Is this the might of the Fateless One? And they said the Fateless One was powerful. After everything you've done, I'd expected more. But it seems I expected too much. Your friend Agarth will remain locked away forever, for I have the key to his deliverance. I take his life with me. Farewell, child of dust. You're a fool, Fateless One. Predictable and safe. A true child of order. There is no escape from the Chaos Realm. The only way out is protected, clad in the same Chaos Magic that I am. It seems that destiny has finally come to claim you, Fateless One. It has been... Fun. Ah! <laughs> 
Consider me flattered. No one's ever worked so hard for my companionship. It's good to see you, old friend. I thought we'd freed the world from fate, but I was wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. So it seems our destinies are still inseparably linked, though I no longer have the ability to see it. I have much to do, my friend. The situation in Mithros is worse than the Order imagined. Telogris and his minions are a threat unlike any we've ever faced, even Gadflo. There is no telling what might happen if the Tapestry of Fate unravels. Speaking of narrow escapes, how did you manage to free yourself from the Chaos Realm? I've never seen it done. A weapon? In the Chaos Realm? That's the first I've heard of anything like that. But I'm not always the most reliable source. Keep that blade close. I've got a feeling it's the only reason you're alive right now. Now, is there any reason why we're still standing around jabbering? Why?
we'll be safe here. As safe as one can ever be from the preordained. They knew I was coming. As they knew you were coming. They employed fate weavers like us to track and eliminate the prey. Make no mistake, Talogris is a true threat. But he's also an ordinary man, which adds some... complications. Now that I am free again, it's vital that we continue with my mission. Otherwise Mithros and Amalur will be in great danger. Well said. We're always stronger together, especially out here. Mithros is no place for lonely. I was on the trail of the blacksmith Skald Atlas, and the preordained got in my way. Skald has been out here for years, and she has answers about chaos weapons like the one you recovered, about our powers. As the weave unravels, fate magic is changing, and we're changing along with it. I knew I could count on you. Talogris doesn't stand a chance. After this, I'll retire. Find a nice piece of farmland in the wolds? Settle down. Maybe not. Scald's Forge is hidden under the mountains, but she still needs to emerge for supplies and information. We should talk to Arella Axel, a smuggler who's said to make the occasional delivery to our friend, the blacksmith. Good luck. <laughs>